If we fast forward ourselves to the season of Advent, which, believe it or not, only begins in 206 days' time, you're welcome for that. One of the things that we'll hear uh, time and again during Advent are the great prophecies of the prophet Isaiah. In particular, we'll arrive at a moment where we will hear the following. We will hear this prophecy being made. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. This promise of Emmanuel, of God with us, is brought to reality in the incarnation, in that little child in a manger. St. John proclaims at the start of his gospel, very poetically, that the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. What comes with the reality of the Incarnation, the birth of our Lord, is the promise of his abiding presence with us always, that he will not leave us orphans. What does St. Matthew say? He says, I am with you always, words put on the very lips of Jesus. Today's Feast of the Ascension brings this great promise and makes it come alive in a whole new way. Today's feast day opens up the door for us, the children of God, and enables us to set our eyes and our souls on the eternal rather than the transient. For now, the risen Jesus is not limited to time and space. As I was saying to the children in our schools today, until this point in the story, he, he had been out, he had been seen by his friends, his disciples, his confidants. What is significant for us then is the realization that Christ is, is present in and through his disciples and their successors. What began then as that looking up to heaven, as we hear about at the end of that first reading, continues in the mission of the church. Notice how the gospel inextricably links the moment of the ascension of Jesus, which we celebrate today, with the mission of those disciples. What does it say? While they going out preached everywhere, the Lord working with them. As we reflect today upon our readings, as we look at them in their wholeness, what challenges us is that our universal vocation, our common calling, our common journeying together, is to continue to seek Emmanuel is to continue to seek the reality that God is with us. And more than this, to allow this encounter with Emmanuel, with the Word which became flesh, to spill forth, to exude from our very lives. We do this not as isolated individuals, as though islands, but we do this by walking together. What does the reading say in St. Paul? There is one body, one spirit, St. Paul says. This whole experience then, from today all the way to Pentecost, a week Sunday, is a synodal pathway moment for us, to use the Holy Father's language. In other words, it's a waiting and praying for us to be able to live out the reality of this Emmanuel, that God is with us. Today we find ourselves, just like those disciples, looking up into the heavens. 
this feast of the ascension of our blessed Lord challenges us too. Why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Why, are, what are we still doing here? We have been tasked. We are commissioned, just like those disciples, with the unique mission to continue to seek God with us. Amen. <laughs>